Hey everybody, today I'm going to be installing a Vantru N2 Pro and I am not using the standard mount, I am using a GPS mount. So the biggest thing you have to remember here is the standard mount, the power goes in to the side up by the top, whereas the GPS mount plugs in at the very top. So before you start anything, put the plug on your GPS mount and place it on your window where you're going to want it. That cord is going to make your GPS mount run a little bit lower than the standard mount. So just keep that in mind. I'm using a Vantru 13 foot mini USB 12 volt to 24 volt dash cam hardwire kit and this has the low voltage protection in it so you're not going to have to worry about running your battery down when you're in parking mode. Okay, a lot of you are wondering how to get your cord up underneath your headliner. What I use, I take a spoon and stick it up underneath. Just pry down a little bit and start feeding it through. Alright, when you get over the A-pillar here, you might have problems trying to stuff it down in here. So what I do, just come over here and pull on a little bit until you feel it pop out. Get your wire back behind there. And you can see I've got wires running down here already. So I think I'm going to do is tuck it up in there and feed it down the side and just push this back in. And that's it. Got your wire sitting over here. What I'll do is pull this all the way out. It'll go back in. Don't worry about it. That way I can get her everywhere I need to be. Now I'll just tuck it right back in here and get back to my fuse box down here your wire tucked in here you might start getting miffed because your wire starts falling off so just start pushing your weather stripping back down Try to keep it from falling out now we're down to this point you can see there's not much clearance in here and that piece I want to stick through is a lot wider so what I'll do is pull a little more of the weather stripping back you see this one down here We'll just pry it out a little bit. Open her up and stick our piece in there. This is a Subaru cross track. Well, I would imagine most Subarus are like this. So you're gonna open this up and you go, well, there's no room to work. You can pull this right off. It'll snap right back into place. Now I'll take all my wire. Sorry about the jumpy camera. You can see I got my little unit back in here. I finished pulling the rest of the wires through here. And we'll just finish pushing the rest of the weather stripping back in place. Make sure you go along and and push on everything and see it's all seated. That's it. All right, so the big thing that you gotta figure out for this is where's the feed side and where's the draw side. 
So we're gonna go in here with a meter. I got ground over on the other side. So go up on this side. No power there. Now the bottom side of that is the feed side. So I know that that's where the power comes through. So the bottom side of that fuse has got power going through it. So this prong up here is gonna be in that bottom hole. If you put it the other way, then the fuse isn't gonna work correctly. Now remember I said the bottom pin here is gonna be the power side. This is the draw side. Now the 15 amp fuse that's in there is for my brake lights. So this other side over here, you're gonna want a lower amperage fuse in there. So you don't want to put a 20 or anything like that in there or 15, you want something lower than what's here. What's, what's, the, what's in the fuse slot right now. Now that you have all your wires pulled through, it's time for you to find a ground. And I'll take my meter and set it into ohms. And I will go after like one of the bolts on a door hinge, something I know that is actually going in the metal on my car. And then you can probe underneath your dash looking for another bolt that uh, is grounded to the vehicle's metal as well. And that's where you'll make your connection. Now it's time to push that ADA circuit into your fuse box. Now remember what I said about this, the bottom side of this ADA circuit or in the fuse box, that is your feed side. The upper part is the draw side. See the black wire coming out the top? That is going to the dash cam. So the dash cam is drawing that electricity out of the fuse box. Don't put that added circuit in upside down or your fuse is not going to work correctly. And there you have it, all installed. One other thing I'd like to touch on is I've seen a lot of people ask questions on where is the best place to install your dash cam. The best place to install your dash cam is going to be on the opposite side of where the driver sits. That way it's out of your field of view. I hope that everybody found this video informative and that it helps you install this on your own. You should be able to do it in under an hour. Alright, that's it for this video. Everybody take care and we'll talk to you on the next one. Bye now.